Hey everyone, so today I have a lip swatch video for you all um, with the NYX Professional Makeup Liquid Suede Metallic Cream Lipsticks. So I recently got a package from NYX and I reviewed the Worth a Hype Mascara and did like a wear test on that. So I will link it down below. But in the same package, I got um, six of the Liquid Suede cream metallic lipsticks and I thought I would do a quick little lip swatch video for you guys and also review this lip product at the same time. So I thought I would show you the shades that I have. I have six of the 12 official metallic shades and I thought I would just show them to you and also give my thoughts, my review on the liquid suede range. So I have a little picture of the shades here. It comes in 12 shades, everything from like goldeny colors, pinks, browns, purples, olivey tones. Mm, looks so good. So I'm gonna show you the six shades that I have and then I'll also mention you know the shades in between that I don't have and then I'll kind of talk in between and let you guys know what I think. Okay so the first shade is the shade I don't have and that is shade number 29 mauve mist and I'm assuming it's like a brownie metallic. So the first shade is shade number 30 and it's called Bella. This one is a very coppery metallic almost like a rosy metallic but a bit more on the copper side these um, matte lipsticks apply really smoothly you guys it doesn't have like any chunks of glitter in it even though it is metallic i must say it glides on seamlessly and so smoothly and is so creamy and buttery and just love how pigmented these are so this one is like a true, true, true brown and I just love how grungy but still natural-ish this looks. I don't know. So shade number 32 is the next one. It's called Neat Nude and that's the other one that I don't have and I'm so bummed you guys. So I will just show you guys what it looks like. And then the next one is shade number 33, Buzzkill, which is a very pinky, rosy metallic. A proper, proper Cherise pink, you guys. This is so bold, so fluorescent, but just so gorgeous at the same time. It's so beautiful. And then the next one is shade number 34 called Pure Society. And this one is very similar to the previous one, but it has a bit more of a plum purple pigment. I might overline a little bit too much, but I want to say that overlining with a bold lip is a lot easier to get away with. And especially with these, you don't even need a lip liner, you guys. It's so effortless and so easy. Okay, so the next two shades I also don't have. Um, it's shade 35, Biker Babe. And that is very similar to the previous one. It's just a little bit more burgundy, not as purple. And then shade 36, Ego. So bummed, you guys. I would have loved to, to try this. Um, it's like a fluorescent, bold purple. I would have loved to try this. But the next one I have is shade 37, Acme. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this one has a bit more of a brick red vibe to it. My lips are a little bit stained so I am overlining them a little bit more than I normally would so just wanted to say that to you guys. Um, this shade is so pretty. I love the brick red vibes. <sighs> I also don't have the next shade which is 38 Exposed. Straight up gold you guys. I wish I had this to show you guys and also to try it out. But the next one I have, it's called Modern Maven and this is in the shade 39. This one is so beautiful, you guys. It has such a perfect balance between like reds and purples and browns and it's just such a beautiful, warm, bold shade. I'm obsessed with this. So the final shade is also a shade I don't have and that is Go Rouge shade 40. It's a very warm green. I would love to have tried that shade as well. 
But I wanted to mention to you guys my two favorite shades and it's this one that I have on which is shade number 39 and I also really loved the second one that I tried and it's shade number 31. So um, I see myself wearing all of these shades by the way with the perfect like nighttime bold look this will just literally just amp up your outfit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear it for a little bit. I'm gonna keep this one on and wear it for a little bit and also eat and drink and see how it holds up so the finish of it is indeed a liquid suede so it's like a liquid lipstick very creamy um, but it, it's not drying at all and it looks very comfortable and it feels very comfortable so I'm gonna see how long it lasts and then show you guys in the next clip I have not even looked in a mirror before I sat down to film, um, but it's been three hours since I applied this liquid suede cream lipstick from NYX and I had something to eat, I had something to drink and I mean it feels like it's still on. Let me see. Oh my word, it has literally stayed on, just rubbed off, like on the inner sides, but that's obvious. Um, that's amazing you guys, so it's been literally three hours and I've had this lip on through eating, drinking, all of that. Um, but I'm going to take it off because we're going for dinner and I don't want to wear this lip gloss lipstick thing. <laughs> To dinner <laughs> so I'm gonna take it off <laughs> um yeah that is basically the verdict um still feels very comfortable on the lips my lips don't feel dry or anything um a little, little bit but I'm so used to having my lips moisturized all the time but um not uncomfortable at all so yeah definitely definitely a thumbs up from me so i hope that you have enjoyed this lip swatch video if you like these types of videos please give me a thumbs up so i know to do a little bit more of them and then also if you have any requests for lip swatch videos and products you want me to review and do lip swatches on please let me know in the comments and then i hope to see you guys in my next video bye